Was there somebody in your life at an early age? Was it was it an experience you had? What what got you what got you passionate about cars? Um, it's a mix of a person and uh, many experiences. I would say, um, I, if I had to pin it on one guy, it would definitely be my dad. Yeah. Um, basically, since I was born, um, my dad's had his hand in some kind of automotive stuff. Um, when I when I was first born, uh, he you know he had a Mustang, uh, uh, eighty seven and a half or uh, would have been 84 and a half, uh, tw- or no, 89 and a half, 25th anniversary Mustang. Gotcha. And, uh, sold it to support me who was a surprise and, uh, <laughs> surprise. Yeah. yeah best thing <laughs> ever happened to everybody. But anyway, <laughs> um, but so, you know, he sold his car to support us, which, you know, every man would do if you needed to. And, Heck yeah. and, uh, he uh, he was in the mini truck scene before that, so he had him a little Nissan truck that was you know absolutely slammed and it had the wild paint job on the side of it like everybody did. Dad was in the mini trucks. My dad was. Oh man, that's cool. So, yeah, he had uh, a that's mini truck cool. that he put four uh, 18s in a blow through in the bed, and uh, they took it to stereo competitions and stuff. Nice, uh, nice. He ran around with his little mini truck crew, and he said that they would uh, they would go from here to Houston. And everybody would be about two feet off of each other's bumpers. The guy in the front's got his lights on. Guy in the back's got his lights on. Everybody else rolling in the dark. And uh, <clears throat> he would always tell me stories about, you know, them going to stereo competitions and, you know, blowing the windshield out of his buddy's van oh, yeah. and, and all that kind of stuff. And um, it wasn't very long until um, I was probably, I want to say four or five. And he was working with some friends at the time, uh, Jerry Pinkard and a couple other guys. Um, at a shop called Big D in Dallas, and they were turning sprint cars out of this uh, shop. They were running a two sprint car team, uh, sponsored by like Miller Lite and Hofbrau Steakhouse and stuff like that. And uh, my dad was on the crew for those uh, sprint cars, um, so they were out at the Devil's Bowl and Mesquite a lot. And uh, as early as I can remember, I was in the stands in a pair of headphones watching the cars go around the dirt track. Um, so we would watch Jerry in the sprints. Uh, and then dad would come up and sit with us and we'd watch the midget cars, watch the modifieds and stuff like that. Um, and my dad said that it wasn't, but probably the third or fourth race. And I had asked him if I could take the headphones off. My mom was all, you know, she was kind of worried. Like we don't want damage his hearing stuff like that. It's your first kid. You treat it like an egg. Right. And, uh, <laughs> So she's like, I don't want to damage his hearing. My dad, you know, he's, we're, in, again, we're in the Devil's Bowl in Muskeet, Texas. And so everybody around was like, well, let him hear it. And so my dad decided to take the headphones off. And first lap around the track, the sprint cars made, he said, I was just light up, like, look at him, like, wow. <laughs> and uh, so that was kind of really what kicked it all off, uh, you know, going through pictures of his mini truck and uh, seeing him and his friends standing with their Mustangs and stuff like that, you know, all developed physical pictures and stuff. Yeah, well, that's cool. And uh, so I would definitely say my dad, um, he dipped out of the car scene once I was born. Um, never really had anything cool until he bought what would eventually be my first car, um, which he bought secondhand from a teacher friend of my mom's uh, who did not know what they were driving. It was a 2002 SVT Focus. Oh, wow. Um, so very super niche car. Not yeah. a lot of people really know uh, about that car, but um, I absolutely loved it. Um, you know, we were talking off camera about uh, autocross and stuff like that. Right, about right. It's not about horsepower. Yeah. That's when I learned that. Yeah. I had a little 180 horsepower, naturally aspirated, uh, front wheel drive hot hatch. Um, my best friend at the time, uh, had just bought a GT 500 right. and, uh, I was like, you know, I, I told him, I said, I could take you in a, in a track in this car. And he's like, Oh, you're insane. It's a focus. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's a focus. Shut up. A little black egg. And, uh, you know, he's like, you're crazy. You're crazy. And, uh, at the time he was driving an RT challenger when they had first come out. And, uh, when he went to buy his GT 500, um, he's one of those guys that you kind of, kind of protect your ego. And so he's like, I've, I've definitely learned how to drive stick before I've already, I know how to do it, but like, you think you could give me like some refreshers, like maybe teach me like how to do it right. But I've definitely done it before. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So we go out in my little focus and, uh, he, you know, I taught him basically how to drive stick. And, uh, he brought the car back after doing a couple of laps around the neighborhood, uh, and was like, Okay, I understand what you're talking about. Now. <laughs> right. And I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. And again, go kart. <laughs> yeah, jumping out of a challenger into that yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. And uh, 
he was like, you know, I really like that car. Right? I was like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was my first car. Um, my dad drove it for a, a while because it had it got good gas mileage and mm -hmm. it, it looked pretty good. You know, he had KMC slides on it, a little bitty car with uh, you know big black wheels. But uh, he had uh, that car and a '98 F-150 that he had bought brand new. It was the first vehicle he ever bought himself, brand new. Uh, he got the color he wanted, the cab he wanted, the motor he wanted. It was all uh, how he wanted it, and so. He had just bought um, the truck I drive now, which is that King Ranch F-150, and basically the, the O2 SVT Focus and that 98 F-150 were sitting out in the barn, and I was fortunate enough that my parents were like, hey, you know, I'm not going to go out and buy you a car, but there's two out there. You pick which one you want to drive, and mm -hmm. you can have it. And I'm like, wow. You know, I was very thankful. So me being a sentimental person, also kind of a truck guy at the time, I was like, definitely the 98 F-150. Uh, so my mother gave it to her friend for free, uh, and I drove the Focus. <laughs> gotcha, so, gotcha. Um, I hated it at the beginning. I was like, "Now I'm not driving that car. And, uh, you know, he taught me how to drive stick in it. And then uh, after ripping it around a little while, yeah. it was like, oh, so I am a hot hatch guy. Yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> so, but it's it was a lot of fun. Um, he got that King Ranch truck and, uh, again, handed it down to me um, when I graduated high school. That was kind of my, you know, uh, graduation gift was, uh, at the time, 186,000 mile F-150. But uh, I absolutely loved that truck. Um, drove it for a couple years before um, he ended up getting that Mustang and, mm -hmm. and giving it to me and all that stuff. But, uh, yep, short car history. But um, I, it's, I miss that Focus. Yeah, do you? I, I do want to find another one um, at some point just because they are a blast to drive. Yeah. And, uh, it's a good looking car, but, uh, yeah, long story short, like I said, my dad definitely got me into cars and, uh, it's been interested in it since, uh, now I think I'm, you know, dive a little bit deeper than he even is. And, you know, he's a, he's a car fan, but, um, I feel like I'm, you know, I, I'm sick in the head at some times, you know, oh, you know yeah, it's like, yeah. uh, why am I so obsessed with this, <laughs> but it's, it's always fun. <laughs>